Meet Wilfred. Here in Lamu County, Wilfred Marithi is the project officer for the EGAD Biodiversity Management Program, or BMP for short. But he's also known as the water magician. And what Wilfred doesn't know about finding water can be written longhand on one of his dowsing rods. Water technology is Wilfred's obsession. His mission is to share his knowledge with communities who are in desperate need. These are the ladies of the Sirocco farmers community. Their tree nursery near Witu Forest is supported by the BMP Partners, a project where Wilfred has introduced some modern day magic of his own. Here is we have an eagard supported by a biodiversity management project. Uh, we are teaching farmers how to look for groundwater and how to do the excavation, how to reinforce the oil, and how to use the sun energy to abstract the water for use in the, in the nurseries, in the field to do the supplemental irrigation. So using the solar energy is very simple. You just have a panel, a submersible pump, and it will do the job for the farmer. So this is solar energy, yeah, abstracting water for the farmer to be used for various purposes, that is irrigation, domestic use, and irrigation in the farms. And during the sunny day, you can abstract more than one cubic meter per hour. So it is that efficient. So what matters here is mastering the technology. And this is what we are, we are teaching farmers to do. The ability of water technology to transform lives cannot be overestimated and it has a particular impact on women, for they are usually the ones tasked with making the long journeys to and from the wells and rivers to collect water. Women particularly benefit from water technology because they save a lot of time. Uh, they don't waste time going long distances to fetch for water because water will be available. There's also wild animals. The water resources are sometimes shared with the wild animals and it was, some of these wild animals are very dangerous and they used to attack the human beings. So that conflict is solved. Abdani Seme, na weza kushukuru kwa sababu vile ni mepata maji, ni different na vile ambavyo nilikuwa sina maji. Kuna watu wengi ambao wamepambana na wanyama huku wanapo, nenda kutafuta maji kwa sababu kwa kipindi kulikuwa hakuna maji, lakini tangu hii teknolojia imekuja watu wengi sahi wakona maji. Hii teknolojia ya maji imesaitia kwa vile wakati wa kiangasi mbato tunakuwa tukona nini mboga au na hata chakula tunapata kwa shamba. Pia inatusaidia licha ya sisi hata majirani zetu hawana hiyo shida kidogo ya mboga kwa sababu tunakula na tunasaprai kwa majirani. Kwa hivyo imetusaidia kiasi. In a land where day-to-day -day survival is everything, Having a surplus crop is for many just a dream. But this dream is becoming a reality, and it's not limited to fruit and vegetables. By working with institutions like the Kenya Forest Service, or KFS for short, communities are discovering the benefits of planting trees in the forest and on their own farms. Agnes Riziki lives in Mesha Masha, a village near Witu Forest. She's also secretary of the Back to Eden Group, formed in 2015 to support local families through beekeeping and tree planting. Mimi huwa napanda miti kwa sababu mingine ni miti ya matunda na naitumia kwa hiyo matunda kama chakula. Na mingine naitumia kama hardwood na napata mbao, natumia kwa napata kuni, na tena wakati wa kiangazi ni kivuli. Tukipanda miti pale huwa Jambo la kwanza hiyo miche tunaitumia sisi wenyewe kupanda kisha tunapata cash kutoka kwa wale ambao hawajapanda tuna wananunua tunaitumia kama ni mauzo wakati ule wa nyuma tulikuwa wakitusumbua kwa sababu sisi hatukuwa na miti yetu hapa huku mashambani sasa tulikuwa tukienda kule tunashikwa tunafukuzana lakini kwa wakati huu Waliona walikuja mashinani wakaja wakatuhamasisha ndio sasa hivi kila mkulima ako na miti yake miti yake kiasi cha kuwa hatuwezi kwenda kule kukatia miti ya nyumba ama ya kuni ama ya makaa tunajipatia wenyewe tukiwa tukiwa 
nenyo tukiwa mashambani kwetu KFS walikuja wakatu wakatuelimisha jinsi ya ku ya kupanda miti kwetu tukitumia tuki sisi wenyewe huku sasa hilo kutufundisha kupanda ili tufanya kule kwao sasa hatuwezi kuenda sasa tumepata ujuzi wa kuweza kupanda hiyo miti na hiyo miti inatusaidia kwa njia nyingi tunapata miti ya kujengea tunapata miti ya, ya mau, tunapata mauzo kutoka kwa hiyo miti ambayo inatusaidia hata kupeleka watoto wetu shuleni the advantages of irrigating our crops Many of the students here at Witu Secondary School are only able to attend because of the extra cash their parents have made through selling excess crops. The school has also benefited from a water technology project. The Biodiversity Management Programme, through its partner ICRAF, provided funding and training to construct this huge covered lagoon next to the school. It's filled by rainwater collected from the school roofs. Teacher and project manager Silas Mwimbi predicts a healthy future for his students. The students are going to get a balanced diet because we're planning to grow tomatoes, sukuma wiki, um, chicha, and uh, we're also planning to bring in uh, fish, and this will also change uh, the lives of the students. It is also going to change the life because the school is not going to spend a lot of money buying vegetables from outside. We are going to manage it ourselves. I've also benefited as a person as a farmer, because it has uh, made me come up with uh, almost the same uh, approach and uh, I'm now a farmer and I'm proud to, to be one and I'm making some money out of it. So I'm sure the teachers also from this school and students are going to benefit from the project. The material benefits from living in harmony with the forest are often referred to as value chains. In Witu Forest, beekeeping is considered an important value chain bringing much needed cash into the local economy. But old traditions of keeping bees inside the forest had to be changed. It is called value chain because you look at the, like now we are implementing in the BMP project, whereby we found that the, the community which was living around the forest was going to the forest to destroy the tree as they get the, the honey which was in the, tea, in the tree tracks. So now for us to add value to the community and at the same time adding value to, to our forest, with the BMP project we came up with the beehives so that we can bring them near them, they can get the services of the honey and at the same time we can have our forest. So when I talk of coexistence, I mean that the, the community, the animals and the trees are all living in harmony. Throughout Lamu County, EGAD's Biodiversity Management Program continues to protect landscapes and livelihoods. Whether it's introducing water technology, or supporting foresters, or improving value chains, relatively small efforts can go a long way in the struggle to adapt to big threats. But in the face of rapid in-migration to the area, climate change and mega-development projects, a question remains. Are these innovations just an exercise in damage limitation? Or will they continue to heal Lamu's fragmented forests?